What the Institute for Economics and Peace has done with the Global Peace Index is taken information that was otherwise invisible and made it visible. I like to think of it in terms of, you know, we're all familiar with Instagram, right? And we take a photo, and then we can apply all these filters on the photo. Different details of the photo all of a sudden become more prominent. In the world, peace is by and large invisible. Imagine that we could put a filter on it, and as we went about our business, all of a sudden we could see the peace in the world. Everywhere, right? Because all of a sudden it was brought to our attention because we had this filter that brought it up. Uh, the key thing is that for us to be aware of it and to notice it, and we can measure it. And to have a baseline data gives us a way to identify what's actually going on in the world because we have hard data. And then we can look at that and say, well, if we put an intervention in, and say, for instance, in corruption, does that make things better or worse? And we can start to experiment. We can take an experimental mindset toward peace. Peace is actually a fairly um, complex subject because, in a way, it's a starting condition for all of the other good things that have to happen in life. So peace also has to have content. It, it needs a space in which human beings can flourish, and that requires things more than the absence of violence. I think that's really uh, a key issue. So the IEP has been a very important institution because in just a few years has been able to zero in on the idea that it is possible to measure and in some ways provide a quantifiable ranking of how countries are progressing in their path towards more peaceful societies. What I find that's beautiful about the framework is that it's so adaptable. Anyone can adapt it to their own needs, their own work, but still specific enough that they can be very deliberate about the work that they do to try to build peace. I think what is useful to me, having been a scientist and a business person, is to see somebody pull together data and turn it into actionable information to help reduce violence in a step-by-step -step uniform manner that we can all apply. And because IEP has invested in the measurements, we can see if we've made progress and we can help sustain that progress. I think the Peace Index uh, really helps us to understand the complexity of the phenomenon of peace, the fact that it is not um, one-dimensional but really multi-dimensional. It challenges us to think you know, in, in deeper ways about what it means to really have uh, a true peace. In the particular case of Mexico, the Mexico Peace Index has also been a very important public debate because it has forced all local officials to think about what they're doing to improve their ranking in this index. When the index comes out, governors pay attention, and citizens also want their governments to be more accountable. And this metric puts us in a, a, a kind of a common language that we can speak about whether peace uh, is progressing or not.